Hey, Sumoings. It's Doc Williams from AppSumo, and today we're going to be looking at all the different types of schedulers you can have for your business. Now, this is a comparison video. We're going to be going through a couple different things that's on AppSumo right now, and we're actually going to be comparing it to uh, one of the big dogs in the market, Calendly, and show you the difference. So, uh, what I want you to do is, if you have questions, if you have different case studies that you want to know more about, make sure you comment below. But let's get right into it. Okay, everyone. So we are here on AppSumo and this week. It's Black Friday. So you make sure that you take a deep breath before you buy everything. Think about what you need and then go crazy. All right. So this is a comparison video because I get a lot of questions about which scheduler you should be getting. Now on AppSumo, there's a couple right now. There's Blab, which is book like a boss. And there is um, also Meet Fox. Now, this video is going to be looking at a couple different case studies, why you would be using or pick one over the others. But what's really important to note before we get into it is you have to decide what you're going to use it for your business and what works for you because there's pros and cons on whatever you decide to do. So you've got to decide what works for you and not to just, you know, choose one because you know, everyone says that you should be getting it, right? You have to decide what works for you best. And in this video, we're actually going to go and talk about Calendly because a lot of people have that or, you know, some people say they've been doing it, using it for years and why should they switch? So let's get right into it. First, we're going to look at Book Like a Boss. Now, this is back for the Black Friday special, so make sure you go and get it before it's gone. But I have bought Blab a couple of different times. Now, the reason I've used it and the reason I keep buying it for myself and for clients is um, the versatility that it has. Now, what the one that I get is the one that's the Suma uh, the Venti, which is the double stack. Now, the reason I like that is, number one, the brand removal. I get the group bookings and I get the, the text messages, 100 um, per month. I really like that. Um, the other thing that I use it for in my account I, um, I make sure that um, I use a lot of Zoom, so it integrates with Zoom. So when, instead of me having to go behind the scenes, create another Zoom you know, meeting, automatically when they sign up for it, it automatically books it and makes that in my calendar. That saves a lot of time for me, a lot of time. So that's what I really like. Also, I like the form builder that they have. Now, there are some things that I wish it had. For example, I wish that uh, the video would save or somehow I could uh, get that copy to my client instead of me needing to download it or have it in the cloud for Zoom. Then I upload it on YouTube and then I send it to one of my clients for consulting calls. That just takes a lot of time, especially if I have four or five different uh, clients in a day. I sometimes forget, they message me. It was very stressful for me. And that's when I found uh, Meat Fox. So I'm experimenting with Meat Fox right now is because there's no limit on the, um, on the time frame for the meetings, right? So if I have a client, I meet with them, I'm saying, you know, refer back to the videos and uh, we'll talk next week. They can sign in and get that video without them waiting for me to, you know, render the video, upload it, and then send it to them. That sounds that you know that saves a lot of time and a lot of stress for me. So that's why I'm uh, switching over to Meatbox to 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 do that right now, and I'm testing that. But the potential of that is huge. Now the the drawbacks of Meatbox right now, right now they uh, they don't have the Stripe integration live yet. Now that's going to be on their roadmap. So that's going to be one thing. Um, and then also the integration with Zoom and setting that up, it's missing that. So. Um, you know, again, pros and cons. What I do like about this, though, is that you can have um, the invoices. And right now you can do the instant payouts if it's connected to your uh, banking account. But I use Stripe, so I'm waiting for that. But the automatic invoices. Now, what I like about that is um, I'm using another AppSumo, um, uh, you know, product. I use Newsy for my invoices and I create that separately. But with Meet Fox, I can cut that out. So it's adding that feature that um, I really like, and it works especially when I'm, again, uh, dealing with uh, consulting. I can just send them their invoice, or if I'm doing a, 
a discovery call that I charge. Oh, there's another feature that I like for Meatbox. Meatbox allows you, because it's open right now, you can make sure when AppSumo has this, it actually allows you to have multiple accounts under one main brand. So let's take a look at that right now. All right, so let's go down to Meatfox and look at some of the features. Now with Meatfox, um, what I like actually, there is that one component. When I was working with teams with um, Book Like a Boss, I would have to get more than one account and then we would all, you know, everyone have their own passwords and whatever. With Meatfox, you can actually enable having um, sub accounts. So if you get the double or the multiple, you can have three to uh, three um, accounts right there, right there, ready to go under one admin. So your team can be more consolidated under there. I really like that. And so I can have my own and then I can have my sales team have it. And then it's all under one umbrella. I really, really like that feature. Um, yeah, I think that's about, oh, and then also again, integrated in browser video solution. Okay, so we're still messing with this. Um, but again, one of the things that we have is when we use Book Like a Boss, and most of our clients, well, all of our clients use Zoom. But a lot of times, uh, if it's a first time client, we have to send them a video of how to use Zoom, what they need to download, all these things if they're using it on their laptop or desktop, all of this stuff. But with this being with in browser video, uh, we eliminate all that. And the, the, the integrated, you can do, um, uh, have a chat feature so people can chat with you on on platform and everything like that. If I'm using a uh, book like a boss, I'm using an integration uh, with a couple different other softwares. I remember SendFox and now just um, a couple different ones that you can use, right? So it, it just, you can use callback, stuff like that. Okay, cool. So now that you have the difference, and oh, in both you can, let me make sure, let me make sure. Um, I liked Blab because they have so many uh, Zapier integrations. I don't think, I don't think Meatfox have, um, has a Zapier integration yet. So keep that in mind. That's the main difference between the two platforms. Now, if you're looking at, well, why, do, why would you buy this right now? Well, there's one last thing to consider. Another one that people use all the time is Calendly. Now, Calendly is an app that a lot of people use right now, but there's something to consider. All the main features that they're using is usually for the paid for um, monthly um, uh, subscription. So $8 a month, that's where it comes with the integration with um, Stripe and all these other integrations. And not only that, they still don't allow you to have text messaging with this. Look at that, not even under the $8 a month plan can you use the integration with Stripe and uh, paper form, oh, excuse me, paper form, PayPal or Google Analytics. You have to go with $12 a month. So that's $12 a month versus um, Blab that's on sale for a reasonable amount. Meet Fox is right now for $59 lifetime. You only pay once. And then for a book like a boss, we have a price of, let's see when it's growing, $49. So look at the difference, right? If you're doing that and you're looking at this long term, I would definitely go with these solutions. Now, again, think about this. I would go with Book Like a Boss if you're trying to do all in one. You've got, you're a one man band, you're trying to sell things, all that kind of stuff. You would go with Book Like a Boss. If you're looking for a team or you're looking for sales and you're trying to scale that way, I would consider Meat Fox at this point. Now, Book Like a Boss also, I will give you one other thing. It shows where it says products and services. Instead of me building out websites and you making all these landing pages, you can automatically create very, very good looking, concise um, websites. And you can decide if it's gonna be uh, light or the full version of what your site looks like. So say for instance, if I do full, I'm gonna just show you mine where it's the business checkup. You have that. You go in, and then right here you can see my services, all those things. The only thing I don't like about this, it looks a little bit different on mobile, where it comes up about, about us before I can see the service offerings. But other than that, they click over once, that's on the mobile version, and then they have all of this. They see the details, they can book, 
and they can buy right there. It's integrated with my Stripe and PayPal. So again, that's why I like this solution. If I'm doing a lot of beta uh, products and I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing, well then I can just use Blab to make a quick page, see if people want it, and then if it, if it does catch on, then I can then move it over to my website and build out a full sales page. Um, so yeah, th that's, that's the big comparisons between those uh, different types. Now what I want you to do, Simulings, is make sure you look at these videos, write comments to me, all the comments below of this YouTube video I'll read, I'll comment back to you. Again, get this now because it's Black Friday, it's only gonna be here for a couple days. And again, I'll talk to you soon.